Hi to Chaco. This is what we have here. We have uh, Blade versus Lolliot. A mute mic. Wait, what? A mute mic. Hello, hello. We have uh, Blade versus Lolliot. A mute mic. No, you, my mic is not muted. Are you trolling me? Stop trolling me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so the warden. We have a warden first here for Loliot, and we have uh, Blade with an no Archmage. Okay, just a second. Let me just tweet that I'm live with the chat code. Twitter. Warden creeping. Oh, Archmage also, of course, creeping as well. Uh, live. Check. Uh, Korea versus Europe. Light versus Blade. Yeah. I don't know. But I do know that the game has been unpaused, so let me focus on the game for now. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Here, Here's the Warden. Warden is uh, creeping this well. The Ancient of Wonders. Interesting. Well, in the meantime, we have the Archmage Cream over here. He did get... Well, is it good? Well, uh, what skills do, does the Warden get? Fan of Knives. Expansion, by the way, here for uh, Loliot. The, uh, the Archmage, the items aren't very good. It just makes him survive very, uh, very long. So if we see a, a Shadow Strike, these items might save the, the Archmage. Or maybe the Mountain King later. Ring of Protection as well. Giving some more durability, but they are not the best items, I believe. Yes, a warden, even. The warden does get uh, level 3 here. It has staff of teleportation and close of haste. Is he going into the base? I don't see any wisps. Over time? <laughs> it's under time for now. If it's starting before I usually start a stream. Here comes the warden. Level 2, uh, Fan of Lives, level 1, Blink. Kills one uh, peasant, going for the next peasant. That peasant went down. What's he go for next? Uh, this peasant. I'll, I see another fan of Lies incoming. There it is. Killing two more peasants. I'm afraid it might be best of one. When Jack showed the players, he also showed the map. What? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, okay, okay. But maybe they'll uh, pick the maps afterwards. <laughs> they, they often do, so maybe that's why you only saw one map. Because uh, on check stream there is a score on the left and the right side. And if it's best of one, I mean, it doesn't make sense to have a score there, right? Or maybe it's for the team, is that it? Is it just a team score? I don't know. Anyway, here comes the Archmage. Archmage going for the Tree of Life, but the Tree of Life is already up, so you can't cancel it. Warden, uh, yeah, does not have Shadow Strike, so doesn't isn't very good against the Archmage. The three targets there, so it's, I guess worth a fan of knives. <laughs> it's not good. Warden is not good against the Archmage, but she is good against everything. She just kills everything instead of just your Warden. Everything is going to die. Four archers here against one footman. The four archers might be able to do some damage here. At least kill the footman if the footman uh, tries to defend. Maybe kill the peasant. Okay, footman against four archers. Footman does go down. The archmage, does he take the Tome of Strength or is he just gonna go for the Zeppelin? Zeppelin is available in like three hours. He's too early for the Zeppelin. Warden is full on mana again. Archers are still alive here, still doing the damage. The militia are trying to save the expansion. They do get it for now. The Archmage stops back. Stops back home. Went down some archers. Does he have dust? Didn't buy dust, but of course he no doesn't have a farm here either. So he, oh, he does have a footman here. 
So you can always scan if you really need to. If you need to, to kill an archer, you can do a scan. Here comes a warden. Warden is full mana. There's one. She's hiding. Where's the scan? There's the scan. Get rid of the mana and kill this, uh, this archer. Oh, he leaves the archer alive. This goes uh, for the warden. Warden does another fan of life. Kills a bunch of peasants. And uh, that's about it, I believe. The warden has to retreat at some point. Oh, maybe he can do a surround. Oh. No surround. Warden, of course, does have boots of speed on her feet. Anaya. Okay, uh, vault being built over here. What is this? Ancient of Wind. Double Ancient of Lore over here. Yeah, all, ma all mists are better one. Okay, thanks for uh, letting me know. I added it to the overlay. Best of one. So are there only four four maps? Only four matches? Is that the entire uh, check up today? Just four games? Or is it actually a grid? Are the winners gonna play against the winners? Or is it just like four games? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Is it like a team, uh, a team, team for team Europe versus team Korea, or is it just a normal to normal tournament tournament where it just so happens that the first first four matches are the Korea versus Europe? Google Translate says something. Angie also, is that? Um, I think that oh, okay. I think I know what it is. So this team against team, uh, the winner stays in and the loser is out. So after we have the four four matches being played, the winners keep playing and against the winners of the other team, unless it's four zero, of course, then we don't have um, any winners uh, for the other team. So then the tournament is over, or the tournament is like the the team. Team battle, whatever you want to call it, is over. There's a nice fan of knives. So we have a lot of footmen here. Five footmen, and an arc mage, and a water elemental. We're hunting down the shredder. A dispel there on the water elemental. Let's see. Uh, he has a staff. He can always staff out. We have a few drives already. The panda is still level one only. Arc mage being hunted down. Maybe shredder can hunt down the arc mage. Maybe <laughs> the arc mage has so much hit points, man. Plus twelve strength. And another tree of life over here. Ancient War is creeping by himself. Meanwhile, he's getting an attack upgrade on the blacksmith for uh, melee. He's getting Griffin Aviaries, okay. And the Mountain King, of course, um, Archmage, still alive. Staffs out. For each team, set the order of 1, 2, 3, 4. After the gameplay is where one each team will play an NGL style. Finally, each team is added to the Ace Resurrection card. All matches will be played on best of one. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Research right, so uh, what that means, I believe, is that they have uh, one revival. Is that what it means? Is that the Ace uh, Resurrection? Yeah, that probably is what it means. Probably both team, uh, teams can revive one player that has already lost. Uh, and besides this, it's probably just as I said it. Uh, Warden has to be careful. She has blink. NGL was actually a league a long time ago. A uh, pretty big one, in fact. It was, uh, at first you only has like, you had like a WC3L league. Which was like the biggest team league. Um, at least outside of uh, Asia. And then at some point, they added NGL. Or uh, it's a different different company, and that was a pretty big league as well. It was the second biggest at that point. We had two big leagues at the same time. I, th I think that's when Warcraft Three was in its peak, when we had both uh, WC Three L and we had NGL. Your 
building is complete. And, and yeah, she's gonna kill some more peasants. Is she? There's only one arcane tower. She has this, the anti-magic potion. She can use it. If she, if you use the anti-magic potion, you don't get your mana drain from arcane tower. Oh, she's gonna kill footman. Nice. Uh, no, not. <laughs> it was about to stormbolt. I was already saying like nice stormbolt, but uh, or nice dodge of course with the blink. Oh, what was that? Stormbolt hit. How can I hit the stormbolt? What a miss on the uh, blink. Uh, there's a nice fan of life killing one more footman. The other footmen are still alive. The warden has to be focused down to save his footman. There goes one more footman. Warden is pretty low on health. Oh, the, the panda kills one footman or maybe two more. Yeah, two more. And uh, this one dies as well. So all the footmen have been killed. We have a level 5 uh, warden now. The mountain king doesn't have mana anymore for Stormbolt. But level 1 Stormbolt wouldn't have been enough there to kill the warden anyway. And the tree of life is up over here. We have a claws of haste lying on the floor. He's of war sitting on the floor. And our warden coming in. Doesn't matter that she's low on health. Or low on mana even. Low on anything. She just comes in, kills everything, staffs out. And tanks of course. Of course. Well, it wasn't completely of course. Because we saw the griffins first. But against the warden it is... Um, Better than against the demon hunter, although the panda is still there. The panda can still deal with those tanks. Oh, we do have some dragon hawks. I just now noticed these four dogs here for blade. Harassing with them, maybe kill some dryads, kill some wisps, kill some wardens. No, don't kill the warden. The warden is gonna kill you instead. But, or maybe they did it on purpose so the creeps would uh, attack the warden. Well, beautifully eaten all these trees here. To protect this expansion. Also has AP APs. Paladin third here for Blade. And of course he's losing all his peasants again. Against this Warden. The Warden just does so much damage. Things out. Meanwhile uh, the tank. Against the Angel of War. This is a rivalry we've seen already for ages. For millennia. For a long time. Tank usually... Uh, that's pretty good, but should be attacking the tree of life. What is this tank doing? The angels, the drugs are all dying to the uh, dryads and fairy dragons. There are two to upgraded, by the way, for uh, the lion. The fairy dragons so strong. Two to fairy dragons. The, the counter to the dragon hawks, of course. Warden killing the peasants in the main. This doesn't look very good here for Blade. How is going to come back here? He has. It's going to fight with the knights. Knights and one griffin against the dryads, the archers, the fairy dragons. Here comes the tank as well. What's the tank going for? He's of course going for the tree of life. Oh no, he was on attack move, so he goes for the ancient war. Now he goes for the tree of life. He's uh, the panda in trouble. That panda still has a TP though. Uh, nice breath of fire. Panda is pretty low. He TPs to this expansion. He might still be in, in danger here. Paladin as well. The warden just. Fairy dragons being annoying. Warden over here. So one knight, one knight, one water limit, one griffin is still what he has left, and one tank. One, 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 one build. One of each. Kills the archer. There's the pan. Panda has an orb, by the way. So he just kills the griffin. Nice breath of fire and a TP. GG. Didn't watch Jera Cup 2. I thought it would be happy first focus. As usual, I regret it now. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, yesterday... Or was yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was a pretty exciting Jera Cup. Because it was not happy winning like all the time. All, every other time. I think you should write prize pool with a Z. Oh. Thanks, guys, for uh, helping me with my English. Prize pool, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So, this is also in best of one, of course. And, oh, all uh, the grid here. Put it under Warcraft, so. 
Your building is uh, how come my title is too long? Interesting. Oh. Huh. Didn't know. There's a bug here that my title is too long. Okay, let me just make my title shorter. Maybe it's because of this thing. Is that it? Yeah, somehow the dash uh, screwed everything up. We have a checkup, Korea versus Europe. Warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, so uh, Foggy here as a Night Elf. Of course, we know Foggy did really well in GCS, got third place. And this is the first uh, official match we've seen him play since GCS, since he came back from China. Or, di or did he play? No, he probably played in Jericho yesterday, but he lost, right? He lost against someone, I don't know who. Uh, but today he's playing against Lucifer. Lucifer didn't even qualify for GCS. But Lucifer uh, did win ha Jericho yesterday. Sorry for the spoilers if, if <laughs> some, some of you hadn't seen it yet. But uh, yeah, so Lucifer is playing pretty well, I guess, against uh, Foggy. Hmm, he's playing against Foggy. Lucifer always is known for uh, for being pretty bad against Night Elf. This is his worst matchup. So I don't know how his stats are against Foggy. They are, uh, of course, I've met uh, several times in Jericho already. Should uh, I should have checked the Warcraft 3 info, but I don't want to do it right now because we're already in the action. Nice mana burn there on the Death Knight. Death Knight has a clause of attack. Uh, well, the Demon Hunter has a Ring of Protection, and I'm not... This is like one of the matchups where I believe it's it might even be better. Or it, it's not as bad, at least, as in a lot of other matchups. The Ring of Protection against Undead on your Demon Hunter. Uh, well, it's a very nice surround here on the Demon Hunter. I didn't think he would get it, but he did get it. Okay, the, the Detonate saves the Demon Hunter. He saves the Demon Hunter, and this is one of these reasons. This is one of those reasons you don't see people TP immediately the moment they get surrounded. Because sometimes you can fight your way out. Sometimes you can save your Demon Hunter. So you can always, uh, like the moment you are surrounded, you have to make some decisions. You have to uh, calculate, can you maybe save your Demon Hunter? Can you not save your Demon Hunter? Well, this in this case, he had a Wisp close by. He was able to detonate the skeletons and save his Demon Hunter. Didn't need to TP. He buys the boots here and gets evasion. He's level two. Probably from uh, what? From a skeleton or somewhere, something. Oh, was he already level two? Yeah, the claws of attack, by the way, on the death knight. That's uh, one of the best items you wanted to get as the undead because that's going to be great for the lich. Like the the undead just wants as much DPS items as possible just to give the, to the lich. Well, the demon hunter is uh, is completely fine with just survival items to counteract the DPS of the undead. Well, a graveyard being summoned here. He lost to Star Shaped. Oh, okay, so Foggy lost to Star Shaped yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if that was Knight of Mirror or if Star Shaped was playing as in that or other race. I don't know. But um, and maybe he's still jet lagged for going back from China. No, that, that, I doubt that's uh, the case because uh, China and Russia. No, Ukraine. Hmm. How much is the time difference? Like five hours? Upgrade finished. Uh, we'll see him uh, today. Book of the Dead. Definitely, I guess the Book of the Dead. Is he gonna sell that? Knight of Mirror, Star Shape, when Mass Hunts. Okay, so it's kind of like a cheesy. Cheesy strategy. Like maybe. Uh, maybe Foggy just didn't. Doesn't know how to play against it. Maybe Foggy's weak against Mass Hunts. Okay, Demon Hunter and the Panda creeping over here. He wants a level 3 Demon Hunter. Two Rings of Protection. <laughs> Russia has Moscow. Oh yeah, Moscow plus 1, China plus 6, Korea plus 7. What about Ukraine? Because Foggy is Ukraine, of course. Nice Breath of Fire. Death Knight is pretty low. He does have Healing Potion, though. Demon Hunter does have Boots of Speed. He might be able to hunt him down. Needs, uh, he's so close to level 3. Once he gets a level 3 Demon Hunter, Research. he can just keep harassing with that level 2 mana burn while, he uh, while he's uh, creeping with the panda. Ukraine is the same as Russia. Okay, so 
Yeah, then in, I was completely right then. Well, I'm a genius. There's a five hour difference. It gives the rings of protection to the panda so you can uh, tank with the panda. Uh, but I do, yeah, it gives it back. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, but I do like the, the rings on the demon hunter when he goes uh, and harass with the mana burn. But uh, yeah, foggy, brilliant, brilliant player. Just give these two rings for the pan to the panel just so he can tank uh, this creep camp a bit more efficiently. And then after he's done with this creep camp, he gives the rings back to the demon hunter and starts harassing with the mana burn. This is of course how you win with Night Elf. This mana burn harass, he gets uh, Nova in the face, but he mana burns for 26. These, foot, uh, these uh, ghouls, very low on hit points. One more mana burn on the Lich would be nice. And now he, uh, he can retreat because there's no more mana on these heroes. He can uh, heal back up, maybe get a rejuvenation, or maybe can hunt down these ghouls. There's no Nerubian tower, but the main, the Black Citadel is almost done upgrading. He does have the staff though. There's a statue that can mana burn as well. He does get one ghoul, there's a mana burn. And now he probably has to staff home because he's being slowed. There it is, there's a staff. And uh, is there a bear here? No, he will have to use the moon juice. He doesn't have a bear just yet. Panda bear is creeping here, he's level three. He got a uh, class of attack plus nine. And he will creep over here with three, four archers and two drives. The demon hunter goes back out and harass he, the, the key. What I always say, the key to winning this matchup is mana, this mana burner has beautiful mana burn before he even got coiled. And he also cancelled the replenishment potion. No mana on the death knight. Sorry, I have no grid command because I don't, I don't know where we can find the grid. Uh, anyway, the lich can still get mana burned. Uh, so he's, he's hunting down the lich, but he, the lich went back home to safety. Upgrade finish. Very early expansion here for Foggy. Foggy likes these early expansions, but they sometimes I feel like they bite them in the ass. Cannot defend them or they get cancelled. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why exactly these early expansions, uh, why I don't like them. I just, uh, why well, I know why I don't like them. It's because I've seen uh, I've seen more games for Night Elves being lost when they build an earlier expansion rather than a later expansion. Like Life always built builds his expansion at 46 supply. Foggy builds his expansion very early, but he does have the panda. I'm, I'm glad he has the panda. He's getting more bears and uh, no hippos yet, of course. After his expansion is up and running, maybe he goes hippos. Where's the uh, frostworm? Pit is not up yet. The, uh, the boneyard, of course. <laughs> First one pit. Sacrificial pit is already up. Let's see if we can get some more mana burns. Oh, a mana burn kills that, that statue. Demon Hunter, uh, Death Knight, pretty low, but he has an Anka and a healing potion. Nuking the Demon Hunter. But the Demon Hunter has those two rings of protection, so that's why he's still alive. Uh, the, the ghoul's dying pretty fast. We have a bear here in the background. Beautiful breath of fire. One more ghoul goes down. He's cool, very low. Can he staff out the panda? No staff, so he has to TP, maybe. Yeah, he TPs out. There was no mana to nuke him. Um, but, I mean, he, mi he might not have known that. He might not know exactly the mana of all the heroes of the uh, undead heroes. I feel like that's something that uh, really the top players probably... Uh, it's a difference between like the top players and the semi-top players. Just knowing exactly how much mana your opponent's heroes have is so important can make a big difference between winning and losing a game especially if you have a demon hunter of course because then you need to mana burn and you need to mana burn the correct hero okay demon hunter and panda creeping over here uh no frost worms even though he has the sacrificial pit, we don't see a boneyard. Here comes Lucifer. Lucifer still has 49 supplies, so does uh, Foggy. So Creepjack might do something here. There's no TP. He stops out the panda though. He has to stop the demon. Death Knight is still low, but he still has the healing potion. And the Anki sold the Anka, I believe. He needed the money. He's going for the bear. The bear cannot be stopped out. The bear goes down. 46 supply for Lucifer. 45, I think, now for Foggy. 
A 45 foggy. And under Shadow Fury. Shadow Fury saying I plus 20 damage, a lot of damage. Well, he sold one of the rings. Okay. Still thinks a Claws of Attack is better than a Ring of Protection. And a burn on the Death Knight. I, I don't agree with that actually. I think I think the Ring of Protection might just be better than a Claws of Attack. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, the panel has a Flute of Accuracy. That's of course the item he got in the top right. Hunter pretty low. Does he still have moon juice? He still has bears, but doesn't have moon juice. Cannot let his base die here. There's a mana burn on Death Knight. 56 mana. On uh, one bear fighting against the Naga. Well, more bears were fighting against the Naga, but the bear went down. He got stuffed out. Bears. Okay, another fight. Uh, Naga has, uh, Lich has no mana. Naga is still level one. Death Knight has mana f uh, has a mana potion, so I guess there's plenty of mana. Here. Beautiful mana burn. It's exactly 75. I'm not sure if he had time to cast the coil there, but maybe not. Maybe that was the best mana burn I've ever seen. Best timing. This uh, bear goes down. First bear that goes down in a while. Or it's the first game in the uh, first bear in the game, and uh, Lucifer has to TP out. The fiend went down. This uh, fiend very low, and Lucifer lost two fiends. In fact, two fiends down for Lucifer. And Foggy defends his, his expansion. I believe Foggy is in a very good place now, and he's not getting hippos because uh, there's no destroyers, and Foggy doesn't like to go hippos if there's no destroyers. Uh, we heard it in the interview after he lost to 120 in GCS. He said, uh, you know, he doesn't go hippos <laughs> unless they're Fosworn, pretty much. And he was too late against 120. 120 suddenly showed up with a Fosworn, and then uh, Foggy didn't have hippos, so he lost. Of course, I like hippos even if there are no Fosworns. Just against a destroyer is nice. You don't need as many hippos. Oh, until there's web, of course. You can at least force web. Maybe kill destroyer before that with the hippos. Okay, we have uh, three destroyers, and some of them do have mana. One of them does have mana. The destroyer going for this bear. The bear gets staffed out. The death knight it doesn't have uh, any healing potions anymore, or TP or anything to save himself. So he has to be a bit more careful. Uh, one bear does get staffed out. The destroyer is attacking the demon hunter. That's not what you want to attack. Okay, that's what you want to attack apparently. You want to try to kill the demon hunter. Uh, death knight is pretty low. Demon hunter is out of the fight. There goes one bear. Uh, the abomination is slowly going down as well. Demon hunter fighting here from uh, behind. Go for the destroyer. Nice mana burn there on the Naga. Naga is very low on hit points. Naga is dead. And uh, GG. Okay, now we have Sock versus Worker. Uh, wait. Sock versus Worker. They're not Chinese. Why does it say they're Chinese? Well, it's because I have to add their AKs. Let me add that real fast. AKA. And worker. This account should be added already. Why? Oh, I know why. No, I know why. There. Update.
there. We got it. I forgot we're playing on Nettie's. Okay, the Archmage is out here for a sock. And he uh, starts creeping. Uh, the Blade Master, though. Wait, no, what race do we have here? Yeah, Blade Master. <laughs> um, I'm so. I'm doing too many things at the same time. The Blade Master could go straight to this uh, creep camp. Not sure what he scouted, not sure what uh, what Sock scouted. Okay, there's a peon. So he did scout this. So the Blade Master, let's see how many uh, kills he can get. The Soapy Mask here on the Archmage. Not the best item on the Archmage, I believe, but the Blade Master will get this uh, Peasant at the very least. Sock, of course, uh, very smart player. He retreats just in time. This uh, Peasant does go down. Two Peasants down already. And this Peasant, the Peon over here, is being hunted down as well. So uh, two peasants down, the peon down as well though. So that's a uh, two for one trade, but also the archers already crept uh, a lot of creeps, so he's already level two. Uh, interesting that he didn't even build his shop over here, so he had the op option to creep this with the blade master and the grunt. So yeah, he doesn't have that option. He's still tier one though. Oh, he just went to tier two. Double burrow and a shop, very late tack here for for a uh, worker. Archmage creeps his green creep camp. Blade mask comes in. Kills the null. Blade mask is still the null here. Sobby Bass, not the best item, infinite water elementals. Yeah, but uh, plus six intelligence gives you even more. Um, it gives you more more mana regeneration at the low levels. And by the time you are level four, you already have uh, villains over level two anyway. So, but the Sobby Mask, you might uh, argue, is maybe better if you get like a level three secondary hero, like a Mountain King. But still, even your secondary hero on level 1, you rather have plus 6 intelligence than uh, the Soapy Mask. Archmage now hunting down the Blade Master. It's still a very good item though. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. It's, it's just not the best one. <laughs> it's a, one of the better ones still. This uh, Footman getting hunted down by the Grunt. Archmage hunting down this uh, Grunt over here. Of course, it's much better than, for example, plus six strength or plus six uh, agility, like Boots of Baldur's or a Bolt of Giant Strength. Uh, like the auras aren't aren't that great. Well, the plus one armor aura. Well, it won't get better until like the late game. Vampiric aura isn't even that good for a human. It's only good early game. So I do agree, it's one of the better items. The footman now hunting down this grunt. Can he get the grunt? He does have Boots of Speed, by the way. Sock has a speed call. He might. Okay, he doesn't have to use it to save the grunt. <laughs> I thought you talked it so down. I did. I did. I did uh, make it sound a bit worse than it actually is. Grunt stacks with Sobi? Not really. I believe. Uh, I don't think it will stack with. Uh, yeah. So Sobi Mask does not, I mean, of course it works, you know, of course it does its effect, but it doesn't add to the effect of the brilliance, right? So Sobi Mask, it stacks, they both work, but they don't, ha they don't help each other. Well, the plus six intelligence item, it, it, they're both stacked, but they also uh, they stock, stack on top of each other, so they help each other. So you get much uh, much better mana regeneration with the plus six intelligence. Anyway, we have two sheep here over here. Like, are they gonna surround? They're trying to surround the archmage. The two sheep. Okay, the archmage. Let's go to the safe. Uh, it's safer position. Blade master hunting down the water elemental. He lets Water Elemental go. Shadowhunter starts creeping over here. Uh, does he buy Berserker? 
He does get his tier 2 buildings up pretty soon. He's getting the Berserker upgrade. Might not get a Berserker. Because he, he wants to build a Grunt. He wants to build a Spears Walker. I'm not sure if he has the money. Against Human, against human it's a uh, one matchup. Where the Berserkers don't matter that much. Right, because the, the normal Orc units do alright against Human. The Grunts, the Raiders, the Spears, uh, Spears Walkers, yeah. While the uh, Berserkers, no, they don't. They do reduce damage against the Spellbreaker. So sure, if you can snipe some casters, but you usually can't. Because the Berserkers are in the back of their army. You don't want them to the front, because then they get killed by Spellbreakers. And this militia, of course, survived. Uh, did he use dust? He did use dust. Stormboss the uh, Mountain King so he can get his level 6. Another Soapy Mask. Again. Maybe two Soapy Mask on the Mountain King. Like the Archmage is pretty much full mana. Very close to full mana. The Piggy. But the Mountain King only has level 1 Stormbolt. So maybe it's uh, keep that one Soapy Mask on the Archmage. Just to make sure you can cast uh, all the water ele elementals. I mean, on level 3, without the Sobi Mask, it's not infinite water elementals just yet. Like, on level 4 Archmage with level 2 Brilliance Aura, it's pretty much infinite water elementals, right? Without the Sobi Mask. So then probably you can give the, give the Sobi Mask to the Mountain King, get two Sobi Masks on that Mountain King. Uh, we have Shadowhunter still level 2. Jojo Hatchrinker, by the way, here for Orc Worker. The best Shadowhunter in the game. Mazuru level 2. 10 Flames to cast level 3. Hogan Iron Cliff level 2. Okay, so Shadowhunter is the most popular hero here. Initiate Priest. Initiate uh, Sorceresses. Is he getting Adept soon? He's getting Adept Sorceresses. Pretty nice supply for Sock. Uh, 50 here for worker and good for sock well yeah Missouri is still only level two so sure uh, the mountain king is level two as well does have two nice items though the close of the deck and the slippers and of course the circlet uh storm oh he, did he steal it shit i should have checked not 100 percent sure who got that uh, anyway, we have a fight here. Do we have Militia coming? Yes, we do see Militia coming to this fight. He's hunting down Spears Walker. He, Sock did get a Berserker. The Blade Master killing the Berserker. Claw of the Beast being used. So much damage. The Kodo wants to eat something. Oh, he Stormbolts the Raider. Uh, not the Kodo. I feel like he could have Stormbolted the Kodo there and killed it. But I guess he wanted to secure the kill on the Raider. There's one more Raider left. Uh, Stormbolts on the Blade Master, I think. But he dodged it. Uh, how many more Stormbolts? Okay, no more Stormbolts. Although he does have uh, Bruins Aura and Sobi Mask, so soon he will have mana for one more Stormbolt. If he can get at Raider, or even if he can't, our worker is retreating here. And all his units are slowed, so he doesn't have uh, anything to save them. No no more speed tools, he used one. Scroll of the Beast just doing, adding so much damage. Three water elementals is too much. To, we don't have enough spirit walkers to dispel them. Even though all the water elementals were just standing next to each other, they were begging to be dispelled. The spirit walkers were like, yeah, we don't have mana. We have mana for one dispel, but we want to rather use it for uh, spirit link. Uh, Blade Master is level 3 now. I assume we got level 2 critical strike. It was a uh, uh, bash. Okay, there was critical strike. 198, that's definitely level 2. Kills a footman. Uh, what's this cow doing over here? Hello. Spirit walker just uh, begging to die, walking past the water elementals. Kodo is empty, or he, he's hungry, I think. There, he, he's going to eat his spellbreaker. TP out here for Sock. Uh, he can kill some peons before he TP's out. And we have uh, 40 supply for Sock, 44 here for Worker. But there's also a Spellbreaker in the stomach, so Sock has 3 supply, even less. Let's just look at this aftermath through a fast with a Grunt Breaker and like 5 human bodies there. Maybe uh, another one, I believe, over there. I'd... We'll see it soon. Again, a Raider. Blade Master does have the boots of Quattle Last, by the way. Um, he's very strong. 
Boots of Cult, the last step of agility, Claws of Attack, and a Circlet, and a Potion of Greater Healing, plus 20, uh, plus 11 agility, plus uh, 17 damage, with the Kodo it's plus 22 damage. And he wants to keep that uh, keep here, but the keep jack is coming. With Invisible Mount King, of course he knows about it because of this Kodo. Can the Mount King uh, steal this item? He's, <laughs> I think he's gonna be too late. Yeah, it's too late. Pendant of Mana, perfect item for the Shadow Hunter. That's exactly what he wanted. Wait, where did it go? Yeah, he gives it to the Shadow Hunter. Uh, he's, and he was almost full mana, so there's a lot of mana for Shadow Hunter. And the Archmage being focused, he's being ensnared, he's being killed. He's he survives because there's no dispel. No, there was no more dispel, but maybe with the Shadow Hunter he can uh, work, work, he can win this fight. Shadow Hunter with with so many healing waves. Like four or five more healing waves. There goes the Spirit Walker. Archmage has to be uh, careful a little bit here. We have uh, 52 against 47, supply 52 for Orc Worker. A nice Stormbolt there on this Raider, but we just don't have enough Spirit Walkers. And more units dying there. I feel like Orc Worker, does he have units in his base? Oh, he's building, of course, units. His army looks so small, but well, the army is small. Uh, militia incoming, they're going for the Raider. Blade Master, meanwhile, cutting apart. What? He's going for the Water Elemental now. Should probably, uh, well, I don't know. He used the Greater Healing Potion. Uh, the water metal is just being so strong here. Two raiders and a grunt. But, okay, three grunts in fact, but uh, one more raider goes down. I mean, it doesn't look like uh, worker has a chance. Like, no matter what, blade master gets stormbolted. Level two stormbolt by now. And um, yeah, we still have the sobi mask helping a lot for uh, sock. This grunt's dying. These grunts are slow, they are gonna die as well. I don't think there's a way to come back here for worker. Grunt will go down as well. We have uh, 49 supply for stock, 41 for worker. And now he has only spirit walkers. Earlier I was saying how he doesn't have spirit walkers. Now he only has spirit walkers and one Kodo. He's building more raiders, he's building more grunts. Or maybe if you can drag this game out, uh, out, maybe you can get a fighting army again. Okay, level 4 Mount King. Of course, you cannot get any items here because the item was already um, picked up by the Shadow Hunter. Another pendant of mana. Oh no, he drops it down. Uh, he gets Rune Bracers, that's what he got over here. That's a pretty good item. Of course, uh, this doesn't drop pendants of mana, but it does. Yeah, it doesn't drop any pendants altogether. Rune Bracers. Good against the Mountain King. I think he's gonna keep this item. He's gonna do some harass. Okay, this is how he maybe can come back. Maybe with some Zeppelin harass. There's not even a tower here. A Blade Master can kill everything so fast. So could send Water Elemental to harass Peon and mess with the Wood of Lumber. Uh, the Wood of Worker. Worker does have a lot of lumber. The peons are pretty low on health. Our expansion is up here for Sock. Does he have a TP? He does have a TP, so he can save his base. He also has two info potions, one of, on each hero. Let's see, do we have a base race? Where's the Zeppelin? Here it is. Okay. Took over 50 supply by the way, so uh, we will have to. Uh, he has to, he is an upkeep, so. But oh, can he get the zeppelin? Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, I think some units even died there. GG. Yeah, Foggy first Loliath. Vessel one. Uh, we're back to Natty's, by the way. Yeah. So. You see me? Target 2017. Our pride. 
Darkcraft Ghost finally released. Well, it has some uh, similarities. But I think it's more like Warcraft 4. Okay, what do we have here? We have a uh, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter here for Foggy. He has his uh, Ancient of War over here. Interesting. He's playing against uh, against Lolliet, of course. Who's yellow. Who is also going Demon Hunter. Okay, I don't see any Huntresses. I don't see any Priestess of the Moon. I just see uh, Archers. I just see Demon Hunters. Very standard mm. game so far. First killing the Ogre. And he goes for the Force Tool Trapper, kills that. Tome of Intelligence, going for the Ogre Magi. What item did... Uh, it's not done yet. Okay, uh, Ring of Protection, what a shitty item here for Lord Lyot. He starts the game off with some really bad luck. Here at the other side, Foggy gets a circle so much better. Foggy, it seems like he's gonna win this game against Lord Lyot. Seems he, uh, yeah, he has a huge advantage already. That item is just so much better than his ring of protection. But we do have a level two demon hunter. Can he, can he do some harassment? He does scout here with the wisp. You see the wisp, and actually he has very few scouting information compared to Foggy. He only has his one wisp. Besides that, uh, his demon hunter is on the map, and he just has his own base scouted. On the other hand, we have uh, Foggy. He has a wisp over here, wisp over here, Angel of War over here. Demon Hunter uh, got another circlet. Are you kidding me? This is so good. This Demon Hunter is so much stronger than this shitty Demon Hunter. Let's, uh, let's see them fight because this Demon Hunter does have more hit points. Terror Blade. Um, because of the... Well, he didn't creep as much yet. There's Night Mana Burn. Plus four stats. It's almost like he has like a crown of kings over the other Demon Hunter. But it's just plus four, not plus five. Uh, the Null killing the Archer. Archer is Michael back. This Archer is he gonna get this Archer? Uh, Archer gets Michael back as well. Demon Hunter kills the Null. Going for the next Null. Level 1 Null. Okay, the Demon Hunter might be able to steal it. Doesn't. Mana Burn on Mana Burn. Three Archers on three Archers. Are they building more Archers? I do think so. Another Archer here for Foggy. He's building more Archers. Oh, yeah. He keeps building Archers as well. But the Demon Hunter with two. Okay, he bought the Circlet. The Light bought the Circlet. So now his Demon Hunter isn't that much worse than the Demon Hunter for Foggy anymore. He did have to spend money for that though. I stand ready. Your building, is complete. building is complete. This Archer walking around. Is he going for a flank? No, he's just scouting. Scouting Archer over here. Or is that just his rally point? I don't know. I don't know, but he has an archer standing over there. Meanwhile, um, Foggy creeping over here. Gets another circlet. Three circlets here for Foggy. And, uh, yeah, he gets some really nice items. Three circlets. This demon hunter... Is he buying another one? No, he buys the boots. <laughs> and the dust, of course. Um, I, w I would have liked another circlet. But he doesn't have the space in... He doesn't have the inventory. With five archers over here. Demon Hunter trying to go uh, for this Angel War, but the archers are defending it. He eats a tree. He's gonna whack this Demon Hunter, but it will go down. The Angel of War will fall here for Foggy. Also, he doesn't have a Naga yet. He's going for the Keeper. Don't see a Keeper. I don't see a Naga. This uh, might go wrong here for uh, Foggy. This archers. Oh, there's no dust. There's no dust here for the light. He does have a Whistler over here. So he uses a reveal. Kills one archer, maybe. No, the reveal doesn't last long enough. He can't even kill one archer. Demon Hunter flanking the Naga. Mana burn on her face. Uh, Naga here for uh, Foggy as well. Let's see. We have uh, six archers against six archers. He should be able to hold off uh, this. Ar or five archers on XT for Foggy. But he should still be able to hold this off. He's, he's focusing the Naga. His uh, own Naga is being focused as well. He does have boots on Demon Hunter though. Well, uh, well Lolite does not have boots. On his demon hunter, the uh, demon hunter, the hunting down these archers, and he might be able to save the naga. He's moving the naga this way, giving the boots to the naga might save her. But the archers, of course, they can always try to block her and intercept her. That's why he's walking around the trees here, and the demon hunter just hunting down more archers. Uh, this, yeah, the naga did go down though, uh, but Foggy got two more archers so far, two more archer kills. Is what I mean, and the demon hunter is going back home to defend his own archers. He's looting a wisp here to the archers of. 
Well, Lyot. Mana burden of 100. That means we have level 3 Demon Hunter here with the 3 circlets against a level 2 Demon Hunter with only 1 circlet. This is not fair. Uh, anyway, we have an Ancient of Lore going up here for Foggy. Foggy 6 supply ahead. What do we have here? We have 2 Ancient of Lore going up here for uh, Lyot, though. So it, it's still a very equal game. Although a bit more XP on the Demon Hunter. Majesus has spoken. Majesus? Or R and Jesus. Oh, sorry. This is R N. R. The letters R N next to each other. They look like an M. R and Jesus. What did you self reveal? What is the checkup? The checkup is a cup hosted by check. Uh, like every, I don't know how often. Sometimes it seems weekly, and then there's a break. I'm not sure how often. Just whenever check can. Um, the the prize pool is sponsored by donations to check. So if you wanna if you wanna help the worker three community in any way, you can uh, donate to check. And uh, yeah, you'll you'll um, sponsor the check up. He gets a uh, book of the dead, demon hunter killing this archer. The archers are poisoned, so they went down pretty fast. One archer does go down. Demon hunter hunting the second archer. This archer, can he get this archer? Can he get this archer? He cannot get this archer. The Naga just slowing the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter mana burn for 26. Oh, but he doesn't have boots. And the Demon Hunter for fuck, he does have boots. He will have to TP out here. He will have to TP out or die. Your choice, Demon Hunter. Take the red pill or die. When's the Chaco Cup? I've been thinking about it, it's Chaco Cup. Oh, the Naga being f blocked by the sheep. Book of the Dead, of course. You cannot uh, use it to fight most of the time in this matchup, so instead using it to creep, that's very smart. Uh, however, these poison creeps, man, they're so annoying. They just attack everything to go for the archers. He uh, kills one. He gets an uncle re reincarnation. How useful that is. Come off intelligence here for the Naga. Perfect. Please, please, no, please pick it up. Okay, he picks up the Tome of Intelligence. Beautiful play there by Foggy. He doesn't let it uh, lay down there. Uh, doesn't. Uh, Doesn't not pick it up. <laughs> Archer went down to the creeps though. Poké 41 supply. He has a double ancient of lore now as well. He has the master bears. Same here, of course, for Lolliot. Uh Rope of the Magi and a pen of the energy, by the way, on this side. That's pretty good items as well. Of course, he got the rope of the magi from the bottom left. Um Pendle of energy from over here and one from over here because he has two panels of energy now. Just 780 mana on the Naga, you know. You you might have level two mana burn, Foggy. You might have level two mana burn, but you know how many mana burns this Naga needs. She needs like uh like six mana burns or so. She'll be able to cast maybe fork lightning twice. Okay, and then uh if she casts for gliding twice, she will be down to. Uh, if she's full mana, she will be down to like 560 mana. Uh, she will be able to cast it three times. So she'll go down. Oh, she, she took a level up, so she, she has even more mana now. So if she casts it three times, she's down to about 500 mana. A mana burn her five times in the time that she cast for, for lightning three times? I don't think so. So she will probably be able to cast it four times. She also has a Zeppelin to dodge the mana burns. Nice bracket. I, I don't have a bracket. I'm sorry, JJ Pasak. I don't. I don't. I There's no link for a bracket. So I either have to make a bracket myself or I. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a bracket. It's, uh, it's an NGL style. So it's. Uh, the winner just keeps on playing. So Europe already lost all their players besides Foggy. Uh, Korea still has Loliath. Which we're seeing right now. Uh, focus and talk. 
So if Lolaid loses, we'll have either Sock or Focus play against Foggy. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Uh, now if he goes Mana Shield, he has 1.1k Anaga. Oh, by the way, I missed this uh, little fight, this little Zeppelin harass over here. Well, nothing has happened just yet because uh, the light, of course, saw it coming with his own Zeppelin. Was happy is Dream Team. Are we aren't we forgetting any other European players here? Late or how about Cash? We're getting Cash there. I, I think Cash is actually better than Orgburg, but this is so risky. What the fuck are you doing? He loses all his bears. Has to TP out. I, I don't know what he was doing over here. Did he try to creep this? Did he want to creep that? Why did he go out there? Why not uh, go somewhere safe, you know? There's a lot of safe places you can go and retreat. At least he uh, saved both his heroes, but yeah, he went down to 40, uh, what was it? 35 supply. He lost. So if he went down to 35, what did he lose? Like two, three bears? Three bears in the dried or something? Foggy gift. Yeah, of course, Foggy got super good RNG early game. So he gave a gift back by, you know, he made it equal by losing half his units. Uh, of course, I don't know, are the patterns of energies, are those really good items on the Naga? Or do you, are there even better items here? Do you rather want the Claws of Attack plus 9 than uh, Pendant of Energies? I'm not sure. Like, Pendant of Energies in some cases are very good. You have level 2 for Lightning though. Um, there are a lot of items that are worse than Pendant of Energy, that's for sure. Might have, yeah, I don't know. It might have been the best item. Of course, with the Mantle of Intelligence as well. I feel like uh, those are pretty good items, yeah. So I feel like the RNG actually has been uh, evened out. Even though the Demon Hunter got all these circlets, he doesn't have any other good items. Well, the, the Naga here with all those energies and the Rope of the Magi. I believe the luck has been evened out. So he didn't really need to donate those units there. Well, he didn't really need to do that. Uh, he's back to 50 supply though. 40. <laughs> How come they're so even on supply? Did he buy some items? Did he buy some healing scrolls? Did he get more upgrades? Maybe more upgrades? Because Foggy, of course, he has no upgrade. He's a one armor upgrade. What about the Lyot? He's getting more upgrades. He got them queued up. This is uh, this is the second attack upgrade. This is the second armor upgrade. So he already has uh, all his money invested to be to have two two upgrades. Uh, well, here we only have one one upgrades here for Foggy. Foggy, of course, had a better early game, so even though he lost a lot of supply, he uh, he's behind. He's definitely behind, but apparently not that far behind that he's out of the game. Still have the same level heroes. Naga comes out, uses the fork lightning. Foggy, do you guys want me, want me to go on Foggy or Foggy? Because uh, I believe every every streamer calls him Foggy. But he himself calls himself 4G, I believe. Bears. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Uh, third upgrade even for uh, Lolayet for the attack. Why not kill for archers and get one more bear or dried? Yeah, why not? Um, where are the archers even? Oh, because the archers they are. Uh, they still have a mission to fulfill. Their mission is to secure the Goblin Laboratory. That's their mission. Oh, maybe you can get the reverse Zeppelin kill. No, not just with the Demon Hunter. He needed uh, more units there. But, of course, Foggy can fight this fight here. Yeah, Foggy is correct, but Foggy is cooler. Okay. Well, uh, this, this, this bear is being focused. Oh, the Zeppelin! Zeppelin goes down. This bear is being focused. Of course, there's nothing in that Zeppelin, but oh, this Zeppelin saves this. Not save this. Does not save this bear. It does save the bear, the demon hunter as well. Just barely in the nick of time. Uh, two, two bears and the naga is not enough. Use a moon juice for at least. Well, he has so many moon juice here. They are finally used the moon juice. That bear went down. This bear is in danger as well. The archer di dies here. Uh, I'm not sure how much foggy killed here. 
or if he killed anything. I don't think he killed any. Okay, he kills a bear. Is that the first kill he got? I feel like all these other units are Foggy's units. Let's see what he's rebuilding. Yeah, he's not even rebuilding anything. He's 46 supply. So I do believe uh, the Light only lost a bear there. Well, Foggy lost two bears and, a, and an archer. Of course, not just a bear. He lost a bear and a, ze a zeppelin. He has a new zeppelin. Look at these archers. This is what these archers' secret mission is. They don't deserve to die just yet. They still have a mission. They still have a purpose in life. Maybe hunting wisps. <laughs> hunting Our wisps. Of course, uh, because of those two archers, he's four supply behind. So, what? Where is uh, Foggy's units? Five bears, six bear, six bears, and one drives here for Foggy. Well, uh, the light, of course, he has a hippo. He has two archers. Where are the archers, by the way? Here they are. Yes, uh, hippo, two archers. So he only has four bears and a drive and an archer, another archer, a third archer. So maybe Foggy can win here because he has more bears, but the, oh, they are two two bears now as well. Three two bears here for Lolaya though. Uh, yeah, great. Someone stopped something over somewhere, I believe. Did I see? Oh, but yeah, the demon hunter got stopped out. He stopped out the bear. Uh, Foggy also getting the third attack upgrade for his bears. And uh, is he getting the third armor upgrade? Yes, uh, Lolite's getting the third armor upgrade. Oh, this Zeppelin is in danger. Okay, never mind. He has backup. Backup bears. This is Archer though. Michael's in the back with the Zeppelin. Drops them, uh, does not drop them out. Just we have, uh, in fact, we have a Druid of the Talon here for uh, for Lolite. He's also with over 50 supplies at 69. But he cannot win this fight yet because he's still building more units. But with those reinforcements, he should easily be able to win this fight. Mana burn on the Druid of the Talon for only, only 11. And a mana burn on 43 on the Demon Hunter. So no more mana burns. Actually, both Demon Hunters are completely out of mana. But we know this Naga is not. Naga has so much mana. By the way, level 4 Naga against just a level 3 Naga over here. Uh, Foggy has to retreat here. I mean, the Druid of the Talon, of course, does double damage against uh, heavy armor, which bears are. So, does double damage against the bears. 14 to 16 damage times to 28 to uh, 32 damage. That's a lot of damage. And... On top of that, he has fairy fire as well. So, um, a lot of damage. The Druid of the Talon is really smart. I haven't actually seen that uh, at all. Just adding uh, Druid of the Talon after you've already been playing bears. Of course, we've seen uh, just mass Druid of the Talon versus mass bears. Okay, this, uh, this one bear in the front here is going down. He's surrounded by a lot of bears of Foggy, but a human bear form went down very fast there for Foggy. This bear needs to be stopped out or something. Okay, just drink some moon juice. Demon Hunter for uh, Lolite has to use the Info Potion. There's a nice Fork Lightning. Of course, we have plenty more Fork Lightnings on this 870 mana total mana Naga. Uh, the Demon Hunter for uh, Lolite has to be careful. It's going to die. He dies. Oh, this is a comeback here of Foggy. He's just uh, 24 supply behind, but he does have a Demon Hunter. And we cannot say the same here, but we do have a Zeppelin on the other side. The Demon Hunter for Foggy dies as well. There goes that comeback. And I think there goes Foggy's chance to win this... Uh, Game, there goes a the Naga. Level 5. Oh, and man, the man, the man, mana shield! We have mana shield! Mana shield for the Naga. GG. Fear of Life, build an altar of elders. Put the Angel of, Angel of War over here. We have um, Hawk. Nothing special. Archmage first. Will we see Demon Hunter? On this map, usually, yes. But. No, we see the warden. There is the warden for Lolite. Of course, uh, Lolite has been playing a lot of warden on ladder recently against human. Doesn't even matter apparently what map it is. I believe this was a demon hunter map. I've seen very few wardens on this map, especially against human or well any other uh, matchup either. I mean, you don't see much wardens in the other matchups. Sometimes against them dead, 
but warden is mostly for against human uh yeah so let's see how he does with the warden i mean he beat what what did we see earlier did we see the light versus hawk earlier hawk did lose to Pete, let me see if i hawk I ha no, Hawk lost to Focus. The Lion beat played earlier. But they haven't played against each other yet. Uh, second Ace of War is of course very nice. Oh, but the Angel War is so low on hit points. 26, 6 hit points, are you kidding me? Oh, 6 hit points, this footman can just kill it. This footman is killing Wisp, but he can't kill this Angel War. Uh, he doesn't know, of course. He's going for the moon, well, maybe. Meanwhile, the warden already level one. Uh, well, she starts level one, so sure. Um, and we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, Archmage here. He's going for the level five ogre while throwing for some fireballs at the uh, An Anaya with the ring of protection. That's not a good item. He wanted the circlet. Ring of protection is not the circlet. We have close up by his own beautiful block here by the sheep, blocking the warden so the archmage can throw some fire more fireballs at that warden. Well, uh, the archer against the footman, one on one. But the second archer coming out here, this, uh, this angel war is up, so he will probably uproot it soon and uh, start moving to the creep camp. Keep that in, um, in a while. Oh, yeah, I don't have a grid. Maybe I should have uh, made a grid when we had downtime. We had a lot of downtime. I could have easily made a grid. I'm just such a lazy and unprofessional streamer that I uh, just didn't do that. Like, maybe I should become more professional and more uh, more of a cool guy, like Neo. And okay, here's a militia. What's this militia going to do? We have a farm build over here, so I can use the labor laboratory at any time. Of course, the expansion here for Hawk coming up. What? Does he just want more? One more piece of peasantry, or I see he only has four peasants there, so he needs one more to mine the gold. Uh, Dinosaur Rex is still level one. Soka is the grid. Archmage, not Archmage, Warden starts creeping over here. Uh, Warden, of course, if uh, if she keep, keeps this, if she gets a uh, Tome of XP, she might get level 3 from this. Without the Tome of XP, of course, uh, not level 3 just yet. What's Archmage doing? Is he not gonna go for Wisp? Okay, he goes for the creep jack. He realizes that uh, Lolite is creeping this. Uh, Lolite buys boost of speed for his Warden, for Anaya. This uh, archer does, we do have dust, we do have a reveal if he wants to use it though. We have a potion of creative healing for the warden that's, that might be useful. There's the reveal, these, these archers, he, he might get one. He will get one because he got ensnared, she got ensnared. The archmage is level 2. The warden uses a uh, shadow strike there on the archmage, tries to hunt her, him down. Archmage slowly going down. Uh, we do have boots and the shadow strike, so the archmage will have to TP here probably. I don't think this one arcane tower can save the archmage. There's a TP. He does have arcane, arcane uh, shop thing though. Arcane vault. What? what? Did it? That was that was mine. Don't panic. You guys don't get any messages like I do. Well, maybe you get messages as well, but that was my message. So I will uh, turn it off here in a second. That sound. Uh, Warden kills it. Oh, the warden surrounded. She, uh, what? Well, she can fight her way out, I think. Blip, blip. Once again, that was mine again. Okay, let me turn it off. No more blip blips are uh, for me. <laughs> uh, the warden. <laughs> the warden. Uh, yeah, she's surrounded. She's probably. Uh, she will have to TP. She does TP. Nice there by Hawk, uh, saving his footman while keeping the surround here on the warden. The Archmage is in, in trouble. I think your slither skills are pretty professional. That's because I'm a professional slither streamer. The Huntress. Oh, he well, yeah, has Huntresses by the way. An AP, an AP rush. 
Tome of knowledge there just lying on the ground. A tree of life being built over there. Probably the closest position to this expansion. If you can build it. No towers up yet. Oh, there is a blink and there is a go to Archmage. GG Archmage. You should, maybe he could have killed it himself with a water elemental. Kill the Archmage. Warden now level 3. Doesn't look very good so far for... Uh, Oh, I want to say we have four hunters this way. This is still tier one. It just goes down to three of ages. Well, uh, yeah, the tech, even the uh, faster tech here for Hawk than for uh, the Lion. These footmen, they cannot hold. They cannot hold these guard towers. Okay, one is going up very fast, or it is up. The other one is. Uh, okay, by tier one shows Rex back at the tavern. The APAP sits down there. We have five hunters, one AP and an archer and a level three warden. These footmen, they are all so low. Can he defend this somehow? Third tower is almost up. Does he have masonry? No, masonry! You forgot the most important upgrade in the game. Is he upgrading masonry? He's upgrading masonry. That uh, will take some time. I'm not sure if... Uh, not sure why it's so late, but he will defend here. will defend this. Uh, these towers are strong enough to hold off the AP AP. And these Huntresses, they cannot do anything here against these two Guard Towers and the Arcane Tower as well. I have a retreat here for uh, the Lion. Footman. Or Hawk. It's all we can build for now. Oh. These are tier 2 though. So you might get the second hero already. Maybe he can do some, uh, do some damage now. He has a Zeppelin. He can buy a second hero, although he doesn't have the money for it. Or second hero, unless you build from the altar. Okay, he built from the altar already, so he's, he will get the Mountain King. He has a Zeppelin, and the tier two is very late here for uh, Lolai. So his uh, his Hippo will be very late as well. His Angel of uh, Wind, his Angel of Lords will be late as well. It's just Huntresses, Huntresai, and Huntry, Huntresses. Let's just call them Huntresses. A warden, uh, two rings of protection. No surplus for the warden. Although uh, maybe the rings of protection on the warden are better than the uh, balls of attack. The warden, she's just blinking, she's getting focused. She uses her mana mostly. Um, so maybe the uh, making her a bit more durable is more important than having her uh, add a bit more of attack damage. But of course, you want the mana. You want the mana. How much is reveal? Rip Europe. Well, it's not over yet. Not over yet. The warden will be soon level five, though. Where's the archmage? Where is the archmage? He's in the zeppelin, isn't he? There he is. Archmage is still level three. Oh, the tome of knowledge. Up the Tome of Knowledge. Okay, very smart here by uh, Hawk. Doesn't pick up the Tome of Knowledge. He doesn't want to give away the presence here by that he, uh, he wa that he was over here. So Loliath, he purposely didn't pick up the Tome of Knowledge earlier, so he could later see if Hawk picked it up. It's all Kappa, of course. Of course, <laughs> they are not thinking about it like that. Anyway, he cancelled the Angel of Lore. And he saves all his units in the Zeppelin. There's only one Archer. This is the only thing that can attack air. So he can cancel the second of lore easily as well. Uh, this other Ancient of Lore probably can cancel as well. He gets a, a Hunters. What's the Warden doing actually? What is he doing? She doing. She. Warden is he? Oh, bro. Oh, we have a Berserker and a, a Slow. Can he hunt down the Zeppelin? I don't think so. The Berserker has to walk all the way around. Maybe if we uh, used the Zeppelin, picked up the Berserker and dropped it. Maybe. Yeah. That was very fast. Although we have a level 5 Warden. So nothing can go wrong anymore here for Lolliot. Don't know exactly what skills he has. Ooh, a lot of upgrades. Warden, nice stormbolt on her face. I guess she either doesn't have blink or 
Then he didn't see the Stormbolt coming. He, he does have Blink. We probably... Did we see Blink already earlier? I forgot. Anyway, since she has Blink, does that mean she doesn't have Fan of Knives? Did we see... Okay, no mana for Stormbolt. Oh, she does have Fan of Knives. Did she retrain? Or does she just not have... Uh, does she have all skills? Did she retrain the Shadow Strike? Why are you asking us? You should be paying attention to that. I'm sorry, guys. I know. He's getting the move upgrade. He's getting more dryads. The, the dispel. But 64 spline against 44. 64 for Hawk. I mean, he's uh, pretty far ahead in supply and uh, mostly tier 2 units. Well, uh, if we look here. The army for Loliath. Still mostly just Huntresses and Archers and Berserkers. He has two Dryads now, but mostly tier 1 units. He is a Tree of Eternity though, so I'm assuming he's will get some uh, some bears pretty soon. There it is. There's the Adept upgrade. He's also getting Fairy Dragons. But if Ha can get a nice timing attack, sure, his hero levels are, are inferior over the Warden. Uh, his heroes are inferior to the Warden. But he uh, does have a much bigger army. So he might be able to do something here. We have one AP, AP defending there and a Moonwell as well. A nice Stormbolt again on the Warden. Again, she didn't blink. Is his ping too high or something? I don't understand. We have a level 2 Water Elemental with Bloodlust. It looks just like level 3 Water Elemental, but he's just level 2. Now let's go for the AOW. And it does go down here pretty fast. Does he have Mortar Teams? Okay, yeah, we have Mortar Teams here as well. Three Mortar Teams already. Of course, the warden can kill them, but do we have uh, staffs? Are there tier two border teams? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't want to check right now because we're in the middle of fight with oh, Stormbolt next to the Shredder. That's the worst possible thing that can happen to a warden. Uh, warden very low on hit points. He uses a, a healing potion. One uh, mortar team does go down. We have, but is he attacking his own mortar team? He kills his own mortar team. What the fuck? That's the worst thing that can happen for Hawk. Killing his own mortar team. He has no mortar teams left. Uh, one of them got killed by the Warden. Don't know who killed this one. Maybe Hawk killed this, this own mortar team there as well. And he kills his own mortar team over there who was like... At, at, not like he killed it just to not deny the XP. It was just at like very high hit points and he just uh, killed it. Without mortar teams though, I don't think... Uh, well, I don't know. Hawk. Hawk's army. There's only two bears still. There's one uh, over though. Kill Shredder. Imagine if he still had the mortar teams or at least uh, one the team these these hunters as he tries they wouldn't have uh, done as much damage there goes the shredder hawk cannot win this 66 against 67 supply stormbolt again he, he hits the stormbolt can he kill the warden if he's <laughs> maybe warden is uh, out of mana if warden goes down are you kidding me she didn't have any items but uh he could have he could have micro his units uh, they're a little bit better instead of uh because warden was just trapped by his own units not like he was surrounded there by hawk of course, always uh, when you micro back units back, like that are in front of your own units, you don't just micro that one unit back. You select a few units around them, and then uh, micro it back so your warden doesn't just die because she she's trapped. She doesn't get trapped by your own units. But uh, normally, of course, the warden doesn't die because you blink. But because of the spellbreakers, they uh, they burned her mana. So she didn't have mana for Blink. Even though Blink is only 10 mana, normally you always have mana. So 3 Mountain King, level 4 Archmage. How much supply? 73 against 59. I guess uh, still 50-50. We do have a level 6 Warden. I did buy it back, I believe, at the Tavern. Uh, there's a Stormbolt, but this time it did get dodged. Either by the blink or by the anti-magic shield. And how can I win this fight? Just uh, the avatar by himself, by herself, instead of her, is strong enough. Uh, the spellbreaker does go down. Yeah, Hawk's army, he loses one more mortar team. Like, there's just one bear. It doesn't, it, it, the army doesn't look that strong. It just looks strong because of that avatar. The warden uh, is focused, of course, but this time she does survive. She has a mana potion as well. Mortar teams, just two mortar teams. They're 1-0. Do they have fragmentation shard? I still want to check. Okay, he's still a keep. 
But no fragmentation shards. Oh, we can also, no, we cannot check by selecting the unit. Doesn't work in W3 Arena. Two more spellbreakers don't go down. The spellbreaker, very low on health. Uh, the flying machines hunting down the fairy dragons. Flying machines, of course, they don't get hurt by the fan of knives. 63 against 65. All light is a little bit behind. He, he killed that warden. He got a chance to come back in the game, but this last fight, donating two more peasants as well. This last fight didn't go very well here for Hawk. He's uh, he's he's behind. He's pretty far behind. He's playing against seven level seven warden. His heroes together are just level seven. That's how far he's behind. Four and level three. That's level seven. Uh, Spellbreaks are 2 and 1 by the way, the, the Dryads are 1 and 0. Uh, Django, that's a pretty nice item. Endurance Aura, increases the movement speed, is great against, uh, you know, when you need to kite against the Knight of Army. It's great for your mortar teams to dodge that Warden and the Dryads. And that's uh, 5% attack speed as well, so a little bit more damage as well. This is one more Spellbreaker. Getting adapt on this priest. Okay, so Hawk 71, Low Light 68. Gordon does have full mana. The Avatar is about to disappear, but she will cast a new one pretty soon. We have a fight. We have five flying machines, but it takes some time to kill these fair dragons with plus 12 armor. They've already done so much damage with their uh and flare. Gordon is still full mana, so you can uh, just get in there. Kind of nice all these uh, units that got hurt by the mana flare. The mortar teams are still alive. Me Healing Soul being used there by Hawk. He's just so cornered here in the Begos and base. Yes, he cannot even fight it with the towers. The Mountain King uh, is about to die. There goes the Mountain King. The Warden now level 8. And she goes in here. She, she just goes into the, the middle of the fight. She still has a mana potion. So this time she won't die. If she ever, is ever out of mana, she can use a mana potion and blink out. And besides, there's no Mountain King. Okay, she. I'm not sure if she denied that. That Ogre. Orion Savage Rex is level 5. Gordon just sniping. Order teams now. Level 8 means she has uh, Shadow Strike as well. Level 1. Order team is saved by the Zeppelin, but the Warden can just snipe the Zeppelin. Warden has to be a bit careful. She stacks the Zeppelin, but the mortar team is still alive. Alright, FK, they probably should need should heal up a little bit. <laughs> it's not that scary, level 8 warden. He only has boots and an orb. Well at least she can't get really much stronger than she is now. I mean, still can get uh, level 3 Shadow Strike. More mortar teams. Hawk is only 13 supply behind, but only 13 supply behind. He's behind. Uh, it's just the heroes. It's just mostly the heroes. He has a level 5 Warden. Maybe if he can get a level 5 Mountain King and get a lucky Stormbolt off or lucky or 2. Maybe two lucky storm bolts off. He already got two lucky storm bolts off this game, where the warden uh, didn't blink, didn't anti magic shell, anti magic potion. Actually got hit by the storm bolts. That's why he killed us the warden once. If he can kill her again, he might have a chance here for a comeback. The drives are one zero, only one zero. Okay, the flying machines are one two. The spell breakers two two. The mortar teams are one zero. If he just if he just can deal with the warden somehow, and he needs to be lucky, of course. Warden just killing all the peasants. Uses a fan of knives. More peasants, just hunting down peasants. That's what he likes to do. Meanwhile, the mountain king creeping here. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> He's stuck behind the spellbreakers. What a brave mountain king! He even even gets bloodlusted, but get uh, to attack now. Now he can get. Now he attacks. What what item? Mana stone. Pretty good item. Uh, is it? 
we do have level two brilliance. I'm not sure how much the mana is impo how important mana is at this point. I guess the Mandu King is still pretty important. Water Elemental over there standing doing nothing. The Mandu King so close to level five. So close to level five. I think uh, we still have a chance here for a Hawk. That's a better upgrade. If he gets uh, two level five heroes, that might just be strong enough for against level eight Warden. Uh, he's so close, he's so close. That's 24 more XP. Where's the Warden? She just blinked. But she didn't blink in the army. She blinked up the hill. Now she blinks in the army. There's a fan fan strike, fan of fan of shadows, fan, fan of knives. Uh, healing shield being used here by Hawk. Maybe he should have targeted the Avatar that was in the center of his army. Because uh, now the Avatar will start summoning the spirits and that will do so much damage. One barrier. Oh, the Warden! Can he get a Warden? A warden! Okay, now if the Mountain King was next to the Warden, maybe with some lucky bashes, but the Mountain King wasn't able to attack the Warden. The warden used the Info Potion. Uh, she cannot really get back into the fight because she's gonna die to Stormbolt. I assume we have more Stormbolts. Yeah, at the very least, has still that uh, mana stone. So, no Warden fighting here, but. There's a warden. Can he kill the warden? There's a bash. I didn't see a stormbolt. Did he? I didn't see a stormbolt. Our archmage goes down. Oh, saves it with. No, it does not save it with that stormbolt. He stormbolted the bear that was attacking the archmage. Almost saving that archmage, but the ranged units did kill the war that archmage. Cheese to deal with cheese. 52 can 60. I mean, it's not uh, over yet, still. Even killing that uh, Archmage. Not over yet. The Light has a bigger army. Okay, maybe if he kills the uh, Mountain King, it is over. Oh, Lucky Bashes, Lucky Bashes. No, the Mountain King goes down. The Warden is level 10. GG.